In-space manufacturing may sound like science fiction, but together, Rocket Lab and Varda Space Industries have made this a reality. Here's how. Across Varda's four missions, our Pioneer spacecraft will provide power, propulsion, communications and attitude control in orbit, allowing Varda's capsule to leverage microgravity conditions to conduct in-space manufacturing and technology demonstrations. Our first mission for Varda was successfully completed in 2024, proving that the microgravity conditions in space can support pharmaceutical processing, delivering results that are challenging to replicate on the ground. Bringing the capsule back to Earth starts with the maneuver to transition the spacecraft from its 500-kilometer circular orbit to an elliptical one. We light up the spacecraft engine for a burn in the opposite direction to slow things down. This drops our perigee, or the point at which we pass closest to Earth, to 300 kilometers. A second engine burn will then raise the orbit's apogee, the point at which the spacecraft passes furthest from the Earth, all the way up to 900 kilometers. Rocket Lab and Varda operators in mission control will be monitoring this closely. As soon as the desired landing location on Earth lines up with the re-entry path for our spacecraft, it will be all systems go. The Pioneer spacecraft will perform a third engine burn of the 3D printed Curie engine to set the Varda capsule on its return trajectory to Earth. During that descent, a fourth burn can occur out of our line of sight to keep the mission on target if an adjustment to the trajectory is needed. Returning at hypersonic speeds at roughly 31,000 kilometers an hour, our spacecraft will release the Varda capsule at an approximate 470 kilometer altitude. This is the moment of success for Rocket Lab and our spacecraft. Then it's over to the Varda team to monitor the final re-entry, descent, landing, and recovery of the capsule once it reaches the ground. And just like that, from 900 kilometers above Earth to touchdown in South Australia, all in the space of just 15 minutes. The new era in space manufacturing continues. <laughs>